MCC for CDL. That's not a text message from your teenager. <laughs> Metropolitan like Community College for Commercial Drivers Licenses. That's a choice a lot of people are making. Right it's now. a desirable field. Truck driving is in the top five on the list of the most job openings in Nebraska and number one in Omaha. Yeah, Daryl Partner is a CDL driving instructor. Good morning, Daryl. Nice How to are meet you. you. Good morning. Nice to meet yeah, you. Let's you. lay this all out because you got this program at MCC. Mm -hmm. uh, how long is it? What are the prerequisites? How, how does it work? Well, our program is eight weeks long. Uh, so it's a pretty uh, big dedication for some people to take two months off. But the nice thing about it is, is it starts a whole new career. Uh -huh. um, our prerequisites are pretty simple. You have to have a high school diploma or a GED. And you have to have the ability to get a commercial learner's permit. Mm -hmm. and, and the cost, because some people, if they're, they're making a change, they might want to know about that. What should they allocate? Right. Our cost for a, for a Nebraska resident is right around $1,300. That's about the entire layout mm -hmm. for the tuition, the books, uh, any kind of permits they need to get. Everything you need. Right. Basically, mm -hmm. no hidden costs. Yep. $1,300. Yeah, I want to talk about the training. This is pretty cool because we've got a truck parked outside. Yeah. Right. Yeah. One of your semis parked outside. Mm -hmm. uh, and you, you, you actually use these semis for the, for the training experience, right? That's right. Yep. These are the trucks that we use. All of the students train in these trucks. They also take their driving test in these trucks. So, mm -hmm. you know, they have some familiarity with them. There's no surprises when it comes to actually taking their driving tests. As so. we get a closer look here at it, um, we touched on it here, the, the job market and the health of the job market. How does that affect students then once they go through the program, their ability to get a job and the success rates you're able to see? Well, we have really, really good success rates. Our mm -hmm program, I'm happy to say, uh, I think we probably have about a 99% wow. placement rate with all That's of our That's incredible. Program, yeah. yep, usually mm -hmm. by the day that we graduate, almost all of the students have a job lined up. That's the market for truck drivers, yeah. uh, it shows that there's a, there's a pretty good demand yeah. for that. There actually, I've seen and in the right news. Here in Omaha. I've seen in the right. news recently right there's a company that can't afford to put on some of their services because there's a lack of, of drivers wow. with CDL permits. Do you collaborate so. with other programs at MCC? Do you collaborate with trucking companies to make sure that your graduates are prepared? Well, yeah, we do. We have a, we have a really good relationship with local trucking companies and national trucking companies, Creek Carrier, Werner, to mm -hmm. name a few, Hill Brothers, yeah, the big guys. here in Nebraska, the yeah. big ones. Um, we also have some good relationship with small local companies. Um, and we have a, an advisory committee that kind of steers uh, where we take the program, not only our program, but the mm -hmm. diesel technology program, because part of the com uh, collaboration that you talk about is our trucks, the truck that you saw there, is maintained by diesel technology students that are going through the Metro program to mm. become diesel ah, techs. Got right. it. So we've got that going on. Um, we, I just had a collaboration with the uh, construction technology group. They had never done a live concrete pour before and I needed new concrete barriers to put on a truck to simulate weight for my students. Mm -hmm. And so I bought the concrete. Uh, the construction technology instructor built the forms. And so his students actually got to do a live, a, an actual That's pour great. for their grades. That's a great so, example. Right. You're incorporating real life experiences mm -hmm. in. Uh, when I was looking at that truck, there's a lot of these trucks, they get pretty, pretty advanced nowadays. Mm -hmm. We're talking about the technology that goes into some of the, the training. And you guys use technology to help uh, drivers learn how to drive. We do, yeah. We have a lot of technology in our programs. We've been really fortunate with being able to get um, some grant money. Uh, being a publicly funded school, we have that available to us, which really helps our students. Um, this truck that you see here, some of the technology that's in it, we have electronic logs. Uh, that's something that's going to be coming down the line mm -hmm. for most of our students are going to encounter an electronic log. Uh, we have cameras on our trucks that face forward. Mm -hmm. There's a camera inside the cab that faces the student who's driving it. Mm -hmm. And so the student can actually go and critique themselves after they... So yeah, you go back and look at those videos. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, so they can actually almost in a way be kind of like their own teacher. Mm -hmm. You know, we can teach them and then they can go and see and make sure that they're, uh, you, know, you know, that they're doing, you know, maybe we say that, they're, that they're, they have some habits going on and you may not necessarily yes. know that you have that, no, but I then you can saying. see it mm -hmm. and then you know. And then you know. Right. Any myths that you would like to dispel about the industry, about getting a CDL? Well, I think the biggest myth is that, that truck driving is a, a last resort career. You know, people, especially uh, when the economy's bad, people think, well, you know, I'll, I'll go be a truck driver. Mm -hmm. And it really isn't that way. You know, my experience over the road, I've, I've run into guys that were doctors, dentists, lawyers. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a student two years ago, he was a, a retiring B-52 pilot. Mm -hmm. You know, he, his quote to me, I said, why do you want to be a truck driver? You know, you could go and do anything. 
he said, well, I want to see the country from the ground mm. for once. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm a retired Navy cryptologist. That doesn't lead to a career in trucking, um, but it's, it's really a satisfying career. You get to meet a lot of people, travel the country. You see more than, you see more than what a lot of people normally would see. Mm -hmm. yeah, I the know country. a restaurateur that went and got a CDL, and he, he now drives trucks because he mm -hmm. wanted to see the, see the country. Yeah. Right. Uh, you've got this competition that's coming up on October 25th. Uh, what's planned? The How's rodeo. The rodeo, <laughs> yeah. that's right. <laughs> Well, the rodeo started, I think this is the eighth annual. I don't remember for sure. I think this is the eighth year that it's been going on. Rick Sandbeg, the, the gentleman that started the CDL program, wanted to start a rodeo where students could compete against each other. Mm -hmm. And so this is a competition that's modeled after the state truck driving championships that, uh, uh, you know, the students go out and they actually can uh, show off the things mm -hmm. that they've learned over eight weeks. It kind of reminds mm -hmm. me as I, I think about some of the challenges, what some of these like pit crews and NASCAR do, you yeah, know what right. I mean? It's kind yeah. of, it's about speed, it's about execution. And so that's coming up. And that's something that even the rest of us and, and the public can go and watch. It's not limited Absolutely. to just the students. That's right. But for our viewers who are interested in maybe a second career, as, as this sort of is for you, the B-52 pilot you mentioned, I mean, or this is their first career, mm -hmm. what are the steps they need to take to get the process going? Well, the first thing they should do is uh, is call me. Mm -hmm. You know, give me a call at Metro Community College. We have we have kind of an interview process. It's not necessarily you're going to get in, you're not going to get in. It's more of a uh, familiarization for them to make sure that so that they understand what is involved in the mm -hmm. program mm -hmm. so sure they can make a decision that they really want to go for it. Yeah. And the number there, it's 457-2400. I'd also encourage you to visit mccneb.edu slash truck driving. Mm -hmm. There's some really good information there, including um, information about what you could expect in terms of salary uh, initially and they, even after a few years. And I got to tell you, uh, it's good living right. <laughs> as you look yeah. at some of those numbers. And the job right? market's right for it. Yeah. yeah. The job market. Yeah. Yeah, thank you for coming in and bringing the truck. It's nice to see you. Well, thank you. We yeah, appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Guess